Hello guys, welcome to the continuation of the third part of the series on graph. Hope you all are doing great. So let's get started. We will be discussing the second method for the graph traversal. In the previous video, we discussed depth first search. Link to the video is at the top. In that video, we saw that in depth first search, we go till the last node of the graph and then backtrack to the rest other nodes like in a maze. It is a good solution, but only in some cases. The case we are about to discuss today proves it aptly. We all use Facebook, but how many of us know that it takes at most 5 person hop to reach to any stranger on Facebook. That is a general finding which I wanted to share. Coming back to the topic, if we need to check if a particular person is related to you or not, then depth first search over a database as big as Facebook is certainly not a good choice. In this case, you might want to check if the person exists in your immediate friend list or not. If not, then you can move to one of your friends list and check if he knows him or not. So, Rather than going in depth, you are going in breadth. And so the name breadth first search. Now let's see this approach using a graph. If we have this graph and take A as a starting node, we need to traverse a graph using breadth first search. So we will mark node A as visited and move towards the node connected to A. In this case, B is connected to A. So the next in process is B. So we mark B as visited now. Also, we add it in the traversal on the top. Now, the next two process nodes are C and H. We mark them as visited and add them into the traversal. Next two process becomes D and E. We mark them visited too and then process F and G by marking them as visited and adding them into the traversal. This completes our iteration. When we compare this traversal with the depth first search, we get this as a result. We can easily make out that in depth first search, we first went till D and then backtracked and traversed the rest of the nodes. The points we need to remember from these traversal are, first we are traversing breadth wise rather than depth first. Second, we will use visited array to store the mark nodes visited. Third, to store nodes to be traversed next, we need to store them in Q. Keeping those points in mind, we write this code. This block is only for taking the input. Now we have used adjacency list for graph representation, but the graph is the same which we discussed earlier. Once the input is done, we first take a visited array of size equal to the number of vertices and then we take a queue. Now it is an important part here. We use queue in order to store the next two process nodes. Once we are clear in that, we now push the start node into the queue and then we iterate till the queue is not empty. We have done the code so that only the unique unvisited nodes are added into the queue. That's why we have used a set also. Link to the code is in the description below. For any more clarification, please leave a comment. When we run this code, we get this as output. I have shown the alphabetic value also so that it is easier to compare. The order of the values matches with what we have come up earlier. The time complexity differs in the case of adjacency list and matrix like we saw in depth for search. There are certain problems on which we have already made a video. So it would be a good practice to try them. It will make the concept clearer. When we have two approaches, it is quite normal to have a difference between the two. Certainly, memory requirement in DFS is better than BFS as we do not need to store all the child pointer in DFS. The DFS finds the goal faster, but how about we are finding a person in a family tree who died a long time back. In this case, BFS works faster as the person will be closer to the root. It depends on the types of the problem whether DFS is better or BFS. We have shown some of the application and if DFS works better in them or BFS. Like in case of spanning tree, connected components, path and cycles both work the same while in the shortest path BFS works faster but in case of minimal usage of space DFS is faster. This completes our graph traversal. You can always comment your queries below. In the next video we will learn topological sorting. 
सो कीप वॉचिंग कीप लर्निंग